Hello everyone and welcome to Cursed On Late Night Gaming. Back on our Conan Exiles SEPTA server. If you recall in the last episode, we were headed back after unsuccessfully finding a new base location. Thrall and I got back here and one piece and everything was dandy. So I got frustrated I couldn't find a new base and started building a base here. Now this is still just a simple base. It's just a hell of a lot bigger than the last one was. The last one was basically a box. This is a box on top of a box, so we've upgraded. Still just sandstone, nothing fancy, but I needed some more space and I apparently just wasn't ready to expand yet because I couldn't find a location that made me happy. So we're going to have to get to know the map a little more before we settle on something. So I was building this. I didn't I didn't record it. I didn't stream it because building can be kind of tedious. It's just, you know, it's just a matter of placing the pieces and then gathering the resources, placing the pieces, gathering the resources, placing the pieces. It doesn't make for good content. You know what I mean? Although I will praise Funcom and they really improved the building system on here. It's way better than it used to be. But let's take a quick look at the base here. On the outside where I put the um, Wheel of Pain out here because they're not supposed to be having a good time. They're supposed to be out in the elements and on the Wheel of Pain. Then we've got the balcony on the back, back door, and then on the side, just a simple walk around with the water here. And then our animal pen, which we have no animals. I have not found a single baby anything to bring back and tame here. Then going up the stairs, another small balcony. We can put stuff out here eventually. And then we have what will be our sorcery en en enchanting area in this space. And then the bedroom. And then got a kind of an attic area. This was all just really here to support the roof, which was really finicky about getting placed. I had to do a lot of crap to let it actually um, complete up here. I don't know what we'll put up here. Maybe just storage, if we even use it. It's This is fairly extensive... <laughs> A lot of space. Then down below we have our crafting area. And then inside here is the kitchen. Now what don't we see? We don't see Thrall. Yep. Because I screwed up, guys. I um, got bored building this. I was like, okay, I need a break from building. And I'm going to go over and take Thrall. We're going to whoop those dudes over in the camp over here well that didn't happen in fact the exact opposite happened i got killed and couldn't get back to thrall in time and she got killed by these three dudes that hang out here at this camp over at this there's like a tent right over here if you look on the map here's our space there's a tent like right right over here you can see a dude standing right there yeah, right there. Yeah, they kicked our butt and killed Thrall. I got all the gear back, but we lost Thrall. And I understand that's what Thralls are for. They they are somewhat expendable, but it still kind of sucks. So we have to get a new Thrall. Now I have, if the if the world looks a little weird, it may be because I turned Fog off. I got tired of it. It was just constant. Constant fog to where I couldn't see. I couldn't stream. Because it was just thick fog always. So I turned it off. I got sick of it. So it's a little like... If you look at the sky and stuff, it's like super crisp. It's like weird. There's no haze in the air. I don't I don't like it. But let, here, let, let's turn fog on. Look. Look at that. 
Why is it like that? Why, it doesn't have to be that intense. Sometimes it gets so intense you can't even see ahead of you. It was hard for me to tell when it was daytime and when it was nighttime. There was so much fog. But if you're the admin of uh, the server or if you um, have your single player game, the command is r.fog1 or r.fog0. That toggles the fog on and off. I'm going to keep it off right now because of the because we're streaming. And we want to see what's happening. Also, uh, I got a new PC. This is not it. We are not running on the new PC right now. I'm hoping that this machine can be a capture machine for streaming on the new PC with the um, NVIDIA 3090 Ti. So that should um, let me get some better quality on my videos because I think the max I've been able to stream at is like 720 or something. So hopefully that'll fix that. Now, what I thought we'd do today is just take um, half an hour, an hour, and see if we can find a new thrall. Tomorrow is Friday, and um, I usually upload on Fridays, and I don't have a video. So that's what we're going to do tonight. Yeah, see how super crisp it is? It's a little creepy. I don't really like it, but... But the problem is if I turn it off, it is just like... I don't know, is that better? So yeah, losing thrall sucked. I was like, oh my god, it wasn't... it. And, you know, like any good streamer, it wasn't even so much that I lost the thrall. It was that I lost it off camera. That's the part that really sucked. Because if even if that bad stuff happens, the audience wants to see it. So sorry about that, guys. I see you hiding in the ground. Now, if I recall, there is a base up around here. Um, we got the last thrall down at the beach. And we could go do that again. I wouldn't mind having a warrior instead of an archer, though. What is that? I've got my club to knock him out. I got my rope to drag him back. Okay, I don't know what that was. Probably one of those rock cow things. Well, damn, this led nowhere. I think we had to go up that road there. Okay. We'll just do the Conan jump and slide. So what have you guys been doing lately? I actually caught myself today. So so those of you who don't know, I quit my job. Not because YouTube's so successful for me. <laughs> Hell no, that's not why. Um, I quit my job because I found a new job. And I gave myself a month off between starting the new job and quitting the old job just to give myself a break. Because I've been working nonstop since um, 2020. I haven't really had much of a vacation or something. So I'm just doing a staycation, sitting at home, chilling out, playing some games. And I caught myself playing my Minecraft today on the new machine. And it was because I had always seen those sh shots of people that have the um, 3090s Okay, that's a little more serious, I think. 
People that have the 3090s, they are doing Minecraft with that fancy graphic setting and ray tracing and all that stuff. And I thought, I want to take a look. I want to check that out. So I loaded up Minecraft and couldn't find a setting to turn any of that on. And then found out it's not really a setting in Minecraft. It's just this thing you got to do that gives you the coolness in one like particular map or something like that. It was like, okay, this isn't quite what I thought it was. It's kind of sucked. Not that I played that much Minecraft. I used to when it first came out. I thought it was really cool. I mean, I love survival games. I love crafting games, so... I don't know what the strength of this thing is. It's not the same as the other ones. About the same, it seems. So I went ahead and played a little Minecraft just for old time's sake. I'm still like shocked. Like, for those of you who don't know, my full time job is game developer, and I'm still just kind of surprised at the longevity of Minecraft. It's just like, how long has that game been going, man? And. It's been going this long, and it. I just, I just don't want to deal with these guys, you know. <gasps> Minecraft's been going forever, and it still doesn't have environmental sounds. <laughs> I just don't get it. I don't get it. When you're in Minecraft and you're standing on an open plain, an open field, there's no birds tweeting. There's no wind blowing. It's just dead. It's like a silent pit of nothing. And I can't believe a game that's been around that long and has been bought out by Microsoft and is so popular still, they've never added sounds to the... Just, just ambient sound. I, I don't get it. I don't know. Well, you can't turn a skeleton into a thrall, so we aren't going to bother with those guys. Man, dragging this guy back is going to be a pain in the butt. Oh, come on. Ah! Oh. In the butt. In the rock booty. Oh man, this weapon kind of gone, isn't it? I mean, it's almost broken. Didn't even notice that. That blows. Come on. <laughs> AI in action, folks. AI in action. Should I go up here? Should I go down here? Should I go up here? Should I go down here? Oh, I'm going to head more up to the top. Oh. oh. So there's the camp I was headed toward. Oh, God, another one. Oh, that one's special. Oh. <laughs> 
climb, Conan. That's what you do. Oh, you can't while you're poisoned? Oh my god. That was poison? It looked like fire. Come on, dude. Oh, that was a close one. I guess my guy's not necessarily Conan, is it? Just a guy. What do we got here? Do we have any... Uh, drink a little of that, but... We got food. Wow, he looks fun. Sure, his head would look nice mounted on my wall. I need to fix my weapon if I'm going to kill him, though. Okay. I'm going to see if maybe I can drag him into this camp. Out of the shadows, oh, I'll come out of the shadows. Oh shit. There's <laughs> like a million of them. <laughs> okay, they're fighting him. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I want to watch, but I don't want to get too close. Tell me your name so that I can carve it on your fire. My name is Francis. You talking to me or the? He's just standing there. And he's down. Okay, I didn't expect that outcome. I thought he would like clear out the camp. Who's this guy? Yeah, here he comes. Maybe I'll knock his ass out. Come on. What are you? You're a carpenter. I don't need you. Well, I do. But I'd rather have somebody that's going to be fighting. Hey, there's a fighter. Let's see if we can drag him away and make sure we don't get any ads. We got an ad. Carpenter ad. Tell me your name so that I can carve it on your pyre. Tell me your name. Tell me your name. For the north. For the north. 
Wow. <laughs> We're not gonna get him. Immune has your heart, Outlander. Steel and sparks. Steel and sparks. <laughs> I know, I got a drink. Steel and sparks. Outlander. Death to the Outlander. Damn it. I don't think I can knock him out. I think he'll die before I can get him knocked out. Maybe I can get another drink off here. I could try it, I guess. For the north. For the north. What's gonna happen? Emiru, have your heart, Damn it. Hmm. All right, we have to just kill him. For the Norse. Sorry, bud. Patali has come. Got anything to eat? This guy's got meat on him. I mean, I've got food. I just don't. Oh, I got bandages. And I got aloe. Just need to make it. All right, we're not out yet. Edge here, we could drag. Yeah, here's somebody. Just one, just one of you. Just one of you. Fighter level two. That works. Okay. Ignore your dead friends. <laughs> they don't, that doesn't mean anything. For the north! I'm out of Canada here, so I'm I'm with you on the for the north part. Bonus if you hit him from behind. Ha! 
Like bonus concussive, you know. My stick's gonna last. Steel and sparks. I'm going to beat you until you're my new friend. After I put you on a wheel of pain and torture you for a while, then you're going to be my friend. Said the kidnapper. I'm in big trouble. This is not going the way I thought at all. It's weird that they're called Black Corsairs and they're saying for the north and and welcome to Valhalla and all that crap. Because I don't aren't black corsairs, aren't they pirates? I don't think you can punch him. Ah, oh, crap. Well, hell. Steel and sparks. You were almost out, dude. Don't have the supplies. Emir will have your heart, Outlander. We'll meet again. In Valhalla. Well, hell. I almost had that guy. Uh.
Well, how? Now we gotta go back to base. We don't have anything to fix that with. We need leather, which you can't get out here in the wild. You need to process it. And I need to fix my stupid whatever this weapon is anyway. We had him. Dang. You again. I found if you just kind of look, just keep running, they can't really hit you. <laughs> oh. Crocodiles dining on some pork. I could actually use this charcoal. Coal. Oh, apparently it's the other way around. <laughs> or maybe not. It's a little of both. Who am I to pass up a meal? Oops. There we go. Let's grab some uh, aloe vera so we can make some more. Drank. Isn't my house, like, right there? <laughs> Why isn't it coming in? Well, maybe I'm a little further away than I thought. Yeah, I haven't really found a good weapon yet, and... Haven't, um... Crafted... Yeah, haven't, haven't really gotten the recipes to craft anything good yet, either. Okay, there it is. So I have a... So this is on my server. So this is a multiplayer game. Which you can join, by the way. Um, for my ARC servers, um, we have Lost Island and um, oh, Viking Map Forward, forward blah, 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 whatever it's pronounced. We have those two servers running. For those two, if you want to join, join the Patreon and, and you can get access to those. For this one, I'm not so 
picky. If you want to join this, I don't get to play it so much. So, um, if you want to join this, you can just request it. And I can whitelist you. But um, I have a single player game that I've been playing on this too, just so I can learn some of the systems and stuff, you know, ahead of time. And um, my guy on there is way more powerful than this guy, so I keep overestimating my abilities because I think I'm playing the other. You know, you get used to playing another character, and it's like, oh no, I'm not strong. What am I burning here exactly? Wood. Okay, there it is. Oh, we actually have tons of coal. All right. My bad. Glowing gloop. Goop. Okay. Black ice. I know we need that for stuff. Hey! Let's throw that in here. Yeah. For now, at least. Yeah, I'm a little bit of an organizing freak, I admit it. I gotta have everything where it belongs or it drives me bonkers. And then we have... Um, this is the wrong place to put this, but I'm going to put it here anyway. There was a boar head. Or a crocodile head, yeah. Fur... Okay. Um, raw ash. Yeah, I know why we're here. I just get distracted. Actually, it's this one, right? We want to put this in here and this in here, and uh, I guess not that. But, uh, looks like a place for that to live. Carpentry bench. Do I have one? I think I do. Yep. And then chests just for that stuff. I, um, I don't know if I have a lot of chests yet. I need to build some. Yeah. I don't have a beehive yet. this here whatever okay this weapon needs fixed do we have what it takes to do that yeah see we have this sword which is just a plain old blah blah sword to 22 damage this thing does 28 but it doesn't feel like it, it doesn't feel any stronger might as well do the shield while we're here This thing is just stone, is it? No, it's iron. Okay. Repair. You do not have the experience to do this. I must have picked that up somewhere. Um, and then this. Okay. Let's, let's carry this with us just in case. You, just in case this breaks, we can, well, we need the leather anyway. Let's just do it this way. Because I think we need the leather. No, uh, we're not 
too bad on leather, but hey, you can always use more, right? So it's been 40 minutes. Uh, I don't know if I got enough time in the stream to run back there. We can give it a shot. While we're at it, let's um, cook up some of this. See if we can drag someone's butt back here. So the company I'm going to, um, we were talking about this game. And um, one of the guys I was speaking to didn't, hadn't played it. And the other guy was like, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty raw. And like, yeah, it's pretty kind of brutal in a way, you know. Um... Because of the whole slavery aspect and all that, it's like, it's, it's not, it's not PC. But the problem is, and this is something we discussed, is this thing's trying to tell a story of the Conan world. And the world that Conan is in isn't nice, you know? And as we even seen in the movies, Conan, most of his life... He was like a slave and, and so, so there's that aspect of it. And I understand they're trying to tell the story of Conan and his, his life and all that stuff. But the problem is, and this is something we, we spoke about is that the problem is it still feels wrong. And, and, and I think the reason it still feels wrong, in my opinion, is that Conan isn't a slave in this game. You know, the character you're playing isn't a slave in this game. It's, um, he's a, um, he's the, he's the bad, he's the guy taking them, you know? He's the guy collecting the thralls. So, in the Conan, the big difference seems to be that in the Conan stories, <gasps> Conan was fighting against them to make every man free and it even it even says at the start of the video when you first play the game the girl is on the the um, cross being sacrificed or you know thrown out to die and he comes by and cuts her down gives her an axe says you know choose your destiny live your life you know blah 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 and here you're the you're the jerk <laughs> When you actually get in and play the game, you're the one beating people down and dragging them back and forcing them into a servitude of you. It's like, it's kind of like, a, that's what makes it feel wrong, I think. And I think maybe if there was a chance ever that Conan could be on the receiving end of that in the game, like, Or, you know, maybe maybe it's too goody-goody for this world. Maybe it just doesn't fit the vibe. I don't know. But if he could free slaves and they join him, that's a whole different vibe, right? And it could even be that you give the player the choice to do one or the other. Free slaves to gain allies or create them to gain allies. But that's not an option here. The only way to do it is to create them and yeah <clears throat> so that's kind of the the rub on this game is on the one hand I understand they're trying to tell the story of the of the world but but the point the the angle they're telling it from is questionable I don't want to fight you. You dull my blades. What was it, like three of them? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, uh. 
Oh, I hate those things so much. They're not hard to kill, they're just annoying. See? That. That's cheap. Cheap and annoying. Look at that, I got three of them on me. Yeah, come after me. You, I'm the one you want. guys clear him out. I'm sick of fighting him. I love watching AI fight each other. I just love it. Back when I worked on Quake 4, I would, I made, I built an arena just to have AI fight each other just because I loved it so much. Just to watch them. And it's a great way to test how powerful, you know, if, if they're set up correctly. Wow, he killed all of them. Impressive. I think he's chasing me right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I only need one of you. Fighter three and fighter two. Will have your heart out my wow. Ooh, baby. Oh, they're running away. No, don't run away. Well, maybe you yeah, do run away. I'll take the two or the three. I think the three might be harder to knock out, frankly. Considering my puny knockout stick. Okay, here comes one of them. Which one are you? You're the three. Okay. So be it. Oh, oh no, but it's, there's no way. Look at the damage. Yeah, look. This isn't going to happen tonight, guys. Look at it, it's already almost broken. So apparently it feels like if you try to knock out a higher level thing, you get kind of punished by it being just destroyed. He's really good though, I wish I could get him. Bad move, bad move. Oh, 
Um. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go home and either make multiple ones, multiple clubs. Or make the slaver bench, which allows you to make the stronger iron one. Yeah, it's going to break. Yep. How do you ignore that? He just, like, does what he wants. Doesn't care. Oh, I lost my shield. Or my helmet. Okay, time to die, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> nice. Alright guys, sorry, no, no new thrall tonight. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna build some crafting benches. And we're going to, um, where does his body go? Seriously? Seriously, they just made it just, they just like disappeared his body. I get no loot. What the hell? Did it roll down the hill? No. Wow. That sucks. That makes me think he had some wonderful weapon in his inventory. <laughs> Just because I didn't get it. Alright, so anyway, um, thanks for joining us me tonight. Uh, all of these streams get uploaded to my YouTube channel every Friday. A new one is put up there. This one will be up there tomorrow. And um, so I'm going to go back to the base and we're going to make the crafting benches to make the stronger... Thumper. We're going to thump some. I'll bring it back and we'll come back and thump some of these guys for good. Drag their butts back. Put them to work. Huh. No, no loot, really. He just sunk his body into the ground. Usually they at least leave a little bag behind or something. There's nothing. Okay. You can follow me on Twitter at uh, CurseTheDun1. You can follow us on Instagram at CurseTheDun. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Okay. Until next time, guys, have a good one.